Hello everyone. Uh, today we shall discuss about the fourth method in transportation problem. Already we have discussed regarding northwest corner rule and uh, <coughs> row minima method and column minima method. So this is the fourth method in solving the transportation problem. It is called as lowest cost entry method or least cost and entry method. So I have taken the example of uh, this particular. Uh, matrix so that is 19 30 50 10 70 30 40 60 40 80 48 70 20 so these are the numbers so the uh, as i have told you these numbers represent the cost cost and out of this we have to select the least or the lowest cost so that is why it is called as lowest cost entry method so this is the fourth uh, type of <coughs> solving the fourth type of or fourth method in solving the transportation problem so just, let us just look into the problem once so here uh, the same problem i have considered the example <coughs> as the same example we have solved for column minimum as well as uh, row minimum the same problem i am taking for uh, this also the least, co uh, least cost entry method so the demand and supply so everything is balanced so i have told regarding the balancing of the problem to check the balance of the problem how to check the balance of the problem we have discussed in the previous video so straight away we shall solve the problem the step one step one so as i have told you uh, <coughs> we have to look into the uh, minimum value or the least cost in the matrix so identify the least cost in the matrix so we have numbers like 19 30 50 10 70 30 so out of all these numbers 8 is the minimum so that is the least cost entered <coughs> least cost entered in the matrix so you have to consider that particular spot or that particular position so we need to allocate to that particular position so the least cost is 8 least cost is 8 in the matrix above matrix now just look into the supply and demand for that particular allocation or to that particular position you need, we need to allocate we need to allocate the number by looking into the demand and supply so demand just look into the demand and supply so here here demand look into the demand so demand is 8 the demand is 8 so as you as you all know the demand this is the last row that represents uh, that represents the demand and the last column last column represents the available capacity or the supply so just look into the least cost <coughs> in the matrix so that is 8 it at that particular position so what is the demand and what is the supply so here the demand is 8 the demand is 8 and at the same time the supply is 18 18 so we have excess supply of 10 10 units so <coughs> what you need to do is we have excess supply of 10 units 10 10 units so we can fulfill the uh, fulfill the complete demand of 8 units or we can fulfill the uh, demand of 8 units with the supply of 18 units so that is why I, will, I am considering 8 units the total demand of 8 is fulfilled with the supply of uh, 18 so 8 I have supplied over here so write 8 in that particular position or allocate 8 in, this, in that particular box now we are left with 10 supplies or 10 units of supply at the same time here it is 8 out of 8 so the demand is completely fulfilled so just strike out 8 and we have zero demand there you just strike out the entire column so we need to strike out the entire column so that is the first step let us move on to the second step step 2 so I am left with 3 columns and 3 rows so out of that again you have to identify the least cost so out of 19 50 10 70 40 60 40 70 and 20 so the least cost is 10 least cost is 10 the same way whatever we have followed the steps uh, in the uh, in the beginning or we have so solved earlier the same way you have to uh, check here also what is the demand and what is the supply so the least cost or least cost is 10 here in that particular row and column so what is the demand and supply so here we have a demand of uh, we have a supply of 7 At the same time we have a demand of 14 
you have a demand of 14 so that is why only 7 units can be supplied to fulfill the demand of 14 so a demand of 7 can be fulfilled a demand of 7 can be fulfilled so what we have to do is we have to strike out this 7 so the entire supply is uh, has been used uh, for the demand of 14 so we have fulfilled the demand of 7 so we are left with 7 the scarcity of uh, 7 so that is there is a demand for 7 units so that is left out and here 7 all the 7 uh, the supply uh, supply uh, supply units have been used so that is why I just strike out that 7 so it becomes 0 so wherever you get 0 you just you need to strike out the entire row or the column so here in this row I have got 0 so that is why I am striking out the entire row and allocate that number the minimum number 7 7 to that particular position so we have got the second allocation second allocation let us move on to the next step now we are left with three columns and two rows so that is 70 40 60 40 70 and 20 so out of these numbers select the least cost select the least cost so again we have got 20 as a least cost so select that particular position in that particular position just look into the demand and supply so we have a supply of 10 units we have a supply of 10 units or the requirement uh, available available is 10 and the demand demand is 7 here so 7 out of 7 demand can be fulfilled with the supply of 10 units so that is why I am striking out this particular value 7 the demand is completely fulfilled and I am writing that minimum value in this particular position or I am allocating 7 the 7 uh, the demand of 7 can be fulfilled with the supply of 10 so we are left with supply of 3 units 3 supply units uh, we have uh, we have supplied 7 units to uh, to fulfill the demand of 7 units so that is why 7 just strike out 7 so here I have 0 just strike out 10 we are left with uh, the supply of 3 units so that is why wherever I have got 0 wherever I have got 0 just strike out the entire row or column so here this column I have got 0 so that is why I am striking out this entire column so 7 I have allocated 7 here let us move on to the next step step 4 step 4 we are left with <coughs> two rows and two columns so the numbers are 70 40 40 70 so out of these we have to select the least cost we have to select the least cost so here we have a tie between two numbers 40 and 40 so both are least cost when we compare the numbers 70 40 40 70 totally uh, we uh, we get a tie we get a tie with these two numbers so there is a tie between uh, two numbers 40 and 40 so that is why whichever uh, you want to choose uh, uh, whichever the number you want to choose you can choose it so i am choosing this particular position i am choosing this particular position here so the least cost is 40 least cost is 40 so now look into the supply and demand so here the supply is 3 units the supply is 3 units and the demand is 5 units demand is 5 units so that I can fulfill the demand of 3 units because uh, since I have the supply of 3 units only 3 units I can fulfill the demand of 3 units so I am writing that minimum value out of demand and supply whichever is minimum so that I have to write, write in the allocation so that is why I am writing 3 over here 3 I have allocated 3 3 here so that is the number of units in this particular position and the complete supply has been used so that is why I am striking out this particular 3 it is 0 here now we are left with 0 supply at the same time out of 5 we have fulfilled 3 out of 5 we have fulfilled 3 so that is why I am striking out this 5 and I am left with 2 I am left with 2 so now I have allocated uh, to this list count list count or uh, this particular position I have allocated 3 units 3 units 
now let us move on to the next step or we can say that is the last step so finally sorry uh, before that uh, once once we get a zero once we get a zero that rule you know isn't it uh, we have to strike out the entire row or the column whichever uh, or wherever we get zero so that is why here in this particular uh, position we have got zero over here so that is why i am striking out the entire row i am striking out the entire row so that is done let us move on to the last step step by so here <coughs> again we are left with only two uh, positions 70 and 40 and one row and two columns you can see one row and two columns so that is why here uh, 70 and 40 we are left with only two numbers and again we have uh, the demand of 2 and 7 the same time here we have a supply of 9 units so out of these two values whichever is uh, the minimum that is least count least count or least cost sorry least cost least cost uh, 40 is the least cost so I am selecting that particular position least cost position then just look into the demand and supply so we have a demand of 7 units and we have a supply of 9 units so that is why I am considering 7 so the entire demand of 7 can be fulfilled with the supply of 9 so we have supplied 7 units over here so that is why I am striking out this 9 we are left with 2 we are left with 2 units and at the same time 7 out of 7 demand is fulfilled so that is why I am striking out this 7 so 0 so just strike out this particular column this particular column and allocate 7 to this particular position now the final one we are left with only two supply and two demand so to this particular position 70 i am uh, allocating this particular value 2 so two supply and two demand so that is why this gets strikes uh, we need to strike out or we you just uh, we shall just allocate uh, that number to this particular position so now i have got the final allocation i have got the final allocation now let us proceed towards the last step of the problem last step of the pro problem so the final allocation looks like this final allocation is 19 30 50 10 70 out of these matrix to these positions so i have uh, written in the reading reading uh, the positions where we have allocated where we have allocated or the numbers where we have been allocated so 10 7 72 47 43 88 and 27 so these are the allocated positions now coming to the minimum transportation cost so you just multiply uh, the number of units into the price of uh, that particular cell you will get the, the summing up all those will get the minimum transportation cost so 2 into 70 plus 3 into 40 plus 8 into 8 plus 40 into 7 plus 10 into 7 plus 20 into 7 that is 140 plus 120 plus 64 plus 280 plus 70 plus 140 that is equal to rupees 840 so this is the final answer so that is the minimum transportation cost so we have found out the minimum transportation cost using the least, co least cost entry method thank you